Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad kama salaita ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. Allahumma barak ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. An Abi Hurairata qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama Inna Allah la yunzuru ila suwarikum wa amwalikum walakin yunzuru ila qulubikum wa a'malikum Narrated by Hazrat Abu Huraira Razila Tala Anho said the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam allah sees not towards your shapes and your wealth but he sees towards your hearts and your actions this is from muslim abu huraira rizila ta'ala anhu the le prophet d'allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah ne voit pas vers vos formes et votre richesse, mais il voit vers vos cœurs et vos actions. Abu Hurairah Zila Tala Anho Biyan Kartehin Ke Rasulullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Fermate Te Ke An Musulmano, Allah Taala tumhari shaklon or tumhari malon ki taraf nahi dekta, balke tumhari dilon or tumhari amlon ki taraf dekta hai. In this hadith, the Holy Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has mentioned two things which in spite of being gifts of God can and do become at times causes of big trial for both men and women. Of these, one is physical beauty and comeliness, which becomes generally for women a source of great trouble. The second is wealth and affluence, which generally put men to a lot of test and temptation. Citing both these as examples, the Holy Prophet said that while without a doubt they were great gifts of God, but Muslims should take note that Allah does not judge the worth of people by his appraisal of the beauty of women or of wealth of men but that he sees towards their heads and hearts, which are the source and repositories for human thoughts and feelings. And then he sees towards their deeds, which are the products of their thoughts and feelings. The word kalb used in this hadith stands both for heart and mind. For kalb literally, means the central point of an organism and the heart and the mind are both in their respective spheres centers of the bodily organism the mind being the center and overt feelings and the heart that of spiritual experience by using the word kulub or hearts and amal deeds the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in this context has pointed out that though physical beauty and material wealth are gifts of God and one should value them, but what God takes note of is that the heart of men and their actions. It is therefore the duty of every Muslim to seek to improve his mind heart and actions instead of taking pride in the gifts of physical beauty and prop and property and worldly goods
it must be borne well in mind that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam admonition that God the excellent watches the heart and deeds of man means not only that these things will weigh him on the day of requital, but in this world too, real weight is given to feelings of the heart and the motives of the mind and the actions of limbs. The truth is that once a people are granted the favor that the heads and hearts and limbs of its members start operating in the right direction, no power can hinder the course of its progress nor derive it of realization of the highest of values. This is taken from the 40 Gems of Beauty uh, and commentary note by Hazrat Biza Bashir Ahmed, Razila Tala Anho, pages 41 to 43. Jazakumallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.